So Metal Warriors, here we are again uh, doing another interview for the channel here in Iron Madness. Our special guest today is Roland Grappo from Master Plan. Thank you for being here. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you and to be here. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So uh, let's go. And of course, as always, I like to start with this question. I want to know how and why did you start listening to metal music? How and why? I think it's not an easy question because I'm a bit older <laughs> and I, I started in the 60s, 90s, uh, 70s, and uh, of course there was no heavy metal. Oh. So I think uh, when heavy metal started, I was a part of it, you know, because I was a fan uh -huh. around 20 years old. So when Saxon and, and uh, Judas Priest came and Scorpions, and uh, that's, that's when I realized something changes and something special is coming on the market and it's called... Yeah new wave of heavy metal, you know, or British metal or something like that. And there was like Judas Priest 78, something like that, I think I realized. And then 1980, I had my first band called Rampage and we, we started to copy this kind of style. So that, that's how we were firstly, um, yeah, listening to heavy metal or even trying to copy heavy metal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good start, of course, <laughs> with yeah. best bands and, and I mean, making the, that music you like. So that's fantastic. Um, and now, of course, we start talking about um, your music, your uh, new music, because you have released recently uh, the, the new single Rise Again, which is mm -hmm. an absolutely hit. Uh, if you Metal Warriors watching this haven't uh, listened to it yet, go check it out. It's it's awesome. So it's new material from Master Plan that we have been waiting for quite a long time, we could say. And as you said uh, on your social media and everything, this is going to be part from a new album. Yes, I think... Uh... You know, this song, Rise Again, is the first song officially uh, new written since, um, you know, Novo Menitium, which is already 11 years old. Yes. And uh -huh. between we did just live DVDs and um, um, the Pump Kings album, which is um, not a cover album. It's my songs from Halloween and even from Rampage. Many uh -huh. songs are even written before Halloween. And uh, that's uh, not new material, of course. So this is the first song we have already album written. Nice. Um, we're missing we're missing still some lyrics uh, some some vocal parts needs to be recorded and some solo parts but the rest is done uh, this the album is even pre-mixed already mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm ready to continue with next song next song next song like every month maybe one song and uh -huh. the album should come out around summer this year uh, okay okay so this year okay that's mm -hmm. that's great of course so this was like uh, the first single, the first piece to to announce a hey, uh, master plan. We are we are here. We are still here, uh, as the title says. Uh, Rise again. So uh, you're coming back, very strong. Yeah, something like like not stronger than before. Like Phoenix normally is a story about, but <laughs> it's like something. It's a, it's a fresh start. Like uh, you know, we we change ten years, eleven years is a, is a long uh, you know part. Yes, as a, as a musician, yeah, I mean, I mean, I I was not writing many songs at that time. That means I had a really break. Mm -hmm. I was I was uh, in a studio in my Grappa Studios in Hamburg. I was mixing many many bands and producing many bands the last fifteen years. That's the main reason why I was a bit absent sent from from the from the music scene because uh -huh. uh, I felt it's time to make something different. And I, I, I had really big passion for this kind of mixing and and mastering style. Yeah, I worked with many, many bands here from Czech Republic and Slovakia, where I live, and also many international bands, many, many bands from Spain, of course, like recently, just one or two days ago, the, the new single from Lords of Black came out, oh, okay, which yeah. I make mastered. And uh, so I'm always proud to be part of this band because we started together, I don't know, 10 years ago or longer. And that's how everything came together. And that's why I thought after this, when I finished it, uh, I felt like now it's time to go a bit back to master plan and <laughs> pushing this, this band yeah. again, because we, we still play live uh, many, many festivals every year, hmm. but then uh, we didn't do any tour for, for 10 years. And we also, um, yeah, we need new material. That's, it's a fact, you know, even, even everybody knows the market is like people not buying much, but you need new songs that uh -huh. people get True. attention you know 
and that's a new kind of um, marketing of internet and everything and uh, so social media how you call it and I, I still have to get a bit used to it you know I'm still old school and so exactly about what you were talking a little bit right now I wanted to ask you about uh, your studio about mixing and everything because I knew you you, you worked um, that and so more or less uh, that's what you do for a living mixing and everything and master plan it's more uh, kind of a hobby right now um yeah it started 20 years ago as a main job master plan and then uh, now mixing mastering my studio is basically a little bit bigger part than uh, for my income than master plan master plan is uh, of course we have contracts we still uh, get advances from afm records uh -huh. and but it's uh, it's kind of heavier now you know it's i'm i'm, I'm honest um the whole band can't live from this band you know so mm -hmm. every member in the band uh, many many members have normal jobs you know and uh, yes it's, many bands are like this now in, in the medium section how you call it yes uh, yes but that's how it is and i'm used to it already for a long time and uh, so let's 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 take what 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 you can get you know you have my I have my studio, I have sure. live performance. We make albums. Everything is a bit slower because of that reason. And uh, people should not complain. Or, you know, why <laughs> no, no new album, blah, 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 blah. Why is, oh, you know, the best thing is, um, you know, every band is in the same situation nowadays. And people complaining, why is uh, music not so good anymore like 20 years ago or 30 years ago, you know? Because there was a big um, money machine and, of course, you were more inspired and you had a living from it. And nowadays it's different and uh, it's, it's more like a hobby, to be honest. And let's continue talking about good news, really good news. Of course, you're going on tour in a few um, with with Firewind, which is an absolutely fantastic uh, pack. Uh, I don't know how to say it, a uh, tour. Um, and and there are three dates here in Spain, three dates, and, and that's uh, fantastic. So I would like to to talk about, uh, about this tour, of course, and what um, has happened... Uh, for you and Firewind to, to go on tour together, who had the idea it was because of the of the label of or, or I don't know whatever. I think the idea came last year summer and uh, from from the uh, how you can call uh, promoter of the tour, you know, who's who's the the agency. Yes, he contacted me and if if I'm interested, uh, going with Master Plan on tour with uh, Firewind, and then I thought, oh my God, this uh, this is interesting because. Honestly, 10 years ago, I said, I'm not going on tour anymore because it's uh, as a headliner, you know, because mm. the risk is really high nowadays. Yes. And But, but if you make a co-headlining tour, that means bo both bands taking the risk or the promoters taking the risk. So the risk is just 50%. That's that's much better, you know, situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, But first uh, at all, I thought this package would be amazing, you know, I mean... Uh, Always when I hear some stuff, I thought they're not far away from our style. You know, they have a similar uh, route. I mean, I know Gus G also mm. 20 years now. Uh, mm. We toured together and uh, uh, supporting Hammerfall 2003. He was in Dream Evil. I was with Master Plan on tour mm. and we were sitting together on a tour bus. And he was this young kid. I think <laughs> he was 20 something in the beginning, uh, like 20 years ago. And uh, I was already the old, old, uh, <laughs> experienced guy. But yeah, we, we we have a lot of respect for each other. And uh, we met, um, I think, one or two months ago here in Slovakia, promoting the tour already together, making pictures, mm -hmm. talking. And the same chemistry as uh, like 20 years ago. You know, it's like such a nice, warm guy and uh, down to earth and a very talented guitar player. So that's, I'm looking forward to... to To tour with them and uh, also my band is very excited i think it will be a lot of fun we're like um, not fighting who's playing first or something so yeah. we play first and i love it you know it's like um in my age you not want to play so late anymore <laughs> you know you go to bed early <laughs> but, 
but it's it's a it's a cool situation and i'm looking forward to it and uh and uh, hanging out on the tour bus together will be a lot of fun as well mm -hmm. of course we're also looking forward to to see you i i will go of course uh to see you here in barcelona mm -hmm. And and I'm really looking forward. I was also going to to ask you about what you said right now about. Uh, of course, it's a cohort line uh, package, a cohort line tour. But I, I was going to ask you: Do you know? Have you talked about who will play? Who will uh, be playing earlier? The first one, and and I don't know if mm -hmm. if that will mean a shorter time for you, or you will play uh, no, no. the same time. Uh, we play first, but I really love it. I told you already. Sometimes in Spain it's, it's horrible when you have festivals and you play at four in the morning or something. I remember these kind of things. That means you drink in the whole night and then go on stage drunk at four. <laughs> you know, it's like it's not no. cool. No, no, but anyway, I I I, I hope that we had get the first slot, but we play the same time amount of time. So mm -hmm. both bands play 80, 80 minutes. So it's kind of good good length. Okay, and now let's talk about um the the members of the band and. Um, Specifically about Rick Alci, because you started uh, Master Plan with an absolutely legend, uh, fantastic singer as Jorlande is. Uh, mm -hmm. But then in 2012, I think it was, uh, Rick Alci entered the band. For me, Rick Alci has a lot of, uh, of good level. He is uh, also another um, absolutely good singer. So, uh, how was the choice uh, to, to, to be uh, Rick Alci, the, the new singer for Master Plan? After John Lander, you have to choose a really good singer, and you did it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I was in contact with Rick already for two years or three years, and he he wrote me. Hmm. Uh, I think it was two thousand eight or something or nine. Okay. That he likes he likes the band a very lot. He sent me a demo tape or some song he did with Advance, and I liked it. And we we kept contact, and he came also to the show. I think two thousand seven eight was uh, when we uh -huh. played in front of Jackson. He, he saw us and he, we met first time. But then uh, I just heard the second time when he sent me something like uh, another song from Advance and I liked it a lot. So I saw a development of, uh, on his voice hmm. and I thought, wow, let's give him a chance. So I, I, I sent him one of our songs for singing and that uh, he nailed it really good. So he was he was uh, really happy to join the band. He, he loves this uh, band, the style. And uh, we have a really good chemistry. That's that's the main key for me now. It's it's uh, you can have the best singer in the world, but he, when you have always have fighting situation or some some stuff you yeah. disagree all the time, then then makes a, your job or hobby what we talked about it before yeah. mm -hmm. mis mis miserable. You know, and this is <laughs> like we like to meet each other. We we're happy to. S Last time I saw the guys in in August at Wacken. And next time I see them in, in, in uh, I think, in 10 days in Frankfurt for the first rehearsals. We have one rehearsal uh, with a new drama, and that's it. And then we play next day in Frankfurt and going on tour. That's it. Mm -hmm. And, of course, then, then then we're hugging each other and we have uh, jokes and everything. It's, <laughs> it's a very easy, easy, beautiful uh, friendship we have. You know, it's it's nothing. And that's basic. Worried. Yeah, that's a basic thing. It's 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 not many bands have this. Believe me. No, no, not many bands. And so, uh, as we talk about, it's kind of a hobby. So, a hobby is to to enjoy and to be happy, and then that's the main point. So, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, um, I have a couple of questions to know a little bit more about you. Uh, the first one is, mm -hmm. which band or artist would you like to to collaborate with? It it can be, I don't know, making a song, make an album, or, or playing stage. Any band? I don't know. It's it's, it's difficult to say. It's but difficult, yeah. Yeah, because I have many many brands. I I, I really uh, how you say adore. Like I'm a big fan of Rammstein, but this is just a dream. Mm. I would never produce Rammstein. <laughs> but it's like, like some trash metal bands, maybe. I'm, I'm I really like to have a band to make a really brutal sound, like guitars, drums, and sing screaming and singing or whatever. You know, <laughs> not so many. Details. Many, many of the bands uh, coming to me are really more power metal bands, and they think because I was on Halloween oh. um, that I'm the best guy to do this kind of style. But okay. I love, I'm, lis I'm listening to a lot of bands like Exodus and, and Testament. Okay. Uh, and and these this kind of styles, Nevermore, this kind of style. Mm -hmm. I really love it. I want to know what was the last concert you went, the last show you went to, but paying the ticket. I mean, as a fan, or I don't know, but paying well, the ticket. 
<laughs> I think it, I think it was Rammstein. Yeah. Rammstein, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Because, How long ago, uh, more or less? Um, that's a long time ago. Long because time. sometimes, I, I, sometimes I have uh, people knowing them or get for free. But yeah. uh, I paid Rammstein in Hamburg once a long time ago, 20 years. I know so many people. I go to uh, Judas Priest for free. I go to Accept for free. I go to all the bands I like, which oh. coming here to Bratislava. Mm -hmm. Even Buda in Budapest, I went to Rammstein for free because Mike Tirana helped me. He knows the drummer, you know, this kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and uh, But basically, I'm not going to many concerts because... Um, Basically, just to meet friends. You know, when I go to Judas Priest, I meet my friend uh, hmm. Andy Sneep, who plays guitar there. Yes, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, this kind of stuff. Okay, so uh, now let's go back to, to the past, not so long ago, but uh, a few years ago, you came here playing some Halloween songs from your uh, stage in, in the band. So I don't know if you have thought to continue doing that, if you would like to, to still doing some, some shows playing uh, your Halloween songs or or not not to mix uh, because you're coming now uh, as, as we talk about with with firewin i don't know if you have thought to play some songs or you don't want to mix if you want to do that you will do as you did uh a tour specifically about that you know it's it's a uh, it's a bit difficult because when i when i have a band like master plan and the band members think well why we should play halloween songs you yeah know, it's of a bit course. weird Mm -hmm. and uh so i just uh, gave the guys two two weeks ago i came from brazil I did three shows playing Halloween songs as mm -hmm. Roland Grapple, you know? Yeah. And uh, I had a Brazilian band there um, with a couple of uh, singers with for different styles. And we played a lot of Halloween songs, like like a mm -hmm. uh, like, song like Push, um, The Departed, Escalation. No, no, Escalation we didn't play. But uh, The Dark Ride we played. Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Torture we played, and uh, Mankind we played, so many, many oh, songs yeah. of, of my history and uh, from Uli Kush as well. Mm -hmm. oh, and uh, it was really successful. And uh, so I thought, this is really cool. Maybe I should make keep it separate, you know, not too much with Master Plan, just Roland mm -hmm. Grappo and some other musicians doing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, tour, this tour is a bit shorter. We, we, we're missing 10 minutes, and normally we play uh, 90 minutes. And we, we decided not to play Time of the Oath this time. And we played Just a Chance, and the rest is Master Plan songs. I think it's better to keep it separate, like like Roland Grappo, if I invited. Uh -huh. And yeah. when, I, when I came to Brazil, it was just amazing to see how people lost these kind of songs, which, because Halloween are not playing them, you know, my songs and Uli's songs. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's not a concurrence anymore, you know. It's like when they don't play it, why, why, why I can't play it, you know, it's my songs. So. Yeah, of course. Let's go with... My last question uh, mm -hmm. for today, um, it's not a question because I wanted to, to give you um, time to explain whatever you want to talk to your fans, uh, to your Spanish fans or everyone in general who's watching this, uh, to, to tell them whatever you want, to, to tell them to go uh, listen to the new single, of course, and everything you want. Now is your time and we listen. Okay, so um, I'd like to talk about maybe our future album. So the single is out already some weeks and uh, the second is a bit late coming because maybe end of this tour. But in the meantime, you can see us live and I would see you all and having fun together and singing along with us and Firewind. And uh, I think then after the tour, I continue uh, working on our album, finishing it, and hopefully it's coming out in the summer. And uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of variety on the album. Um, the first song is not repre representative of the whole album. It's just a mid-tempo number, which I think it's cool, but we have some power metal there. We have some um, progressive, typical master plan style again. And some other cool shit, you know, which, which is different than all the other albums. <laughs> and that's, that's what I like. I never like to repeat myself. And as an artist, it's always, especially when you have the freedom more or less, and it's a hobby, <laughs> 
do what you want and uh, hope, hopefully the people will love it. You know, that's, uh, that's a kind of key. And many people asked me in the last couple of months or last year, uh, what about solo album? And, um, and um, I think I'm ready. I have already some material to work on something again for Roland Grappo only, which is uh, giving me more freedom to do what I want because nice. I have something, you know, after after all these years producing other bands, I'm hungry again to, to, to produce myself and um, working on new material. Met many people missing my Stratocaster years. Mm -hmm. I think I want to do on my solo album something like going back to the roots with Stratocaster, Marshall, Amps and this old sound, which people loved on, on my, my solo parts, you know, so much. And uh, maybe I'm singing again, maybe guest singers. So I'm not sure exactly how it will work out, but something like this. So that's the kind of idea which comes maybe out next, end of this year, some news definitely. And maybe coming out next year. Sounds really good. I see you have really good plans on, on your mind. So yeah. that's fantastic. Um, that was all. Thank you so much, Roland. And, and of Thank course, you. see you here in Barcelona for sure, for sure. See you soon and come to the show. <laughs> okay, Metal Warriors. Las Premas, el, el Proxima. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>